A very good evening and welcome to another edition of the program, Not Just a Woman. My name is Ruz Okinda. We are joined on set today by Naomi Mukite, who is in the nursing uh, profession, two years and counting in the same profession. Welcome to the show. Thank you. She's going to be taking us through the paces of what it takes to be a nurse, what it takes to go into the nursing profession. Mm -hmm. I always say, let us go back to be able to understand a person. You mm -hmm. cannot move forward until you understand the past. So who is Naomi? Mm -hmm. Where is she from? Where was she raised? Mm -hmm. Share a little bit. Yes. Um, thank you for having me again. Mm -hmm. um, Naomi Mkite, as you said, I'm a um, nurse by profession. Mm -hmm. I was born in Nairobi. I'm in a family of six siblings, and um, I went to Daima Primary School, uh, that was in Nairobi. In secondary, I went to uh, St. Monica Girls, that is in Kitale, mm -hmm. and um, in uh, university, I went to Kenya Methodist University, mm -hmm. that is in Meru, mm -hmm. yes. So nursing, mm -hmm. how did you make this decision? Some people say when I grow up I want to become a lawyer, mm -hmm. others say I want to become a doctor, mm -hmm. others even say I want to become a teacher. Mm -hmm. Or was, this, was it something you did just because you wanted to earn a living? Like let me just go into nursing because uh, I'm going to get work and I'm going to earn some money. Mm -hmm. Or was it a case of having passion for you? Yes, for me it was, it was passion. Mm -hmm. Because even I was do, as I was doing my uh, high school, mm -hmm. I, I had... Uh, a list of what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. yeah, and nursing was one of my of my options, and it was among the first ones mm -hmm. because I wanted to be a nurse, and um, some of the, the the other the the other professions I wanted to be were being an air hostess mm -hmm. and uh, being an accountant too, mm -hmm. but nursing was my first uh, option. So when I went through high school and I passed my grades, and since nursing requires for you to pass your grades, mm -hmm. to pass your examinations, I, I, I was happy because I would, I would now join my, my nursing profession, mm -hmm. yes. If there's somebody who's listening to you, there's a young woman listening to you and they also want to go into the nursing profession, but mm -hmm. they're wondering, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, what are the educational requirements, what are the grades, mm -hmm. what am I supposed to hit? Mm -hmm. Because we don't have people just getting, you know, D's and E's mm -hmm. going into nursing now, mm -hmm. do we? Uh, they, there are, mm -hmm. I know of, because they have to go through a bridging course. Okay. Yeah. In, in, in a university mm -hmm. and you can apply and do the bridging courses mm -hmm. and uh, yes you can become a nurse mm -hmm. but as that now what you you need to to get for your high school grades is mm -hmm. a C mm -hmm. and above mm -hmm. to become a nurse okay yes being fast born mm -hmm. probably puts you at a very advantageous position you're already used to taking care of people mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying that if you're a last one, you can't go into the <laughs> nursing profession, yes, but yes. were you always this kind of person who was always, you know, you, you have this mercy about you, mm -hmm. you're always giving to people, you're always taking care of people, because sometimes there are people who are just natural nurses, yeah. the way they carry themselves out, mm -hmm. you remember them as a nurse, you say, I remember nurse Naomi, mm -hmm. and then there are people sometimes you just say, do they learn by accident, mm -hmm. because they feel like they don't want to do what they're doing, and mm -hmm. that's why I talked about passion. Yes. Yeah, not, uh, to become a nurse, you, you get to have that mm -hmm. passion to do it because mm -hmm. it it, uh, it requires for someone to be knowing that this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Because along the way, you might feel very stressed mm -hmm. and maybe you even get out of the profession. Mm -hmm. But if it's something you wanted to do, regardless of the challenges, you'll face it mm -hmm. and, and you'd still do it. Mm -hmm. And I have, I'm a very passionate person and I've always wanted to become a nurse. Mm -hmm. And even starting from home, as people say, charity starts from home. Mm -hmm. I give back to my community. Mm -hmm. I give back to what, whatever little I have, I share with my family. Mm -hmm. So nothing is a whole set of things that you do, the small things you do to your to, to people mm -hmm. is what makes you become a good nurse. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm also particularly interested about uh, your day to day. Mm -hmm. What does your day look like by the time you're signing in, you know, at the start of your shift to the time you're finishing? Mm -hmm. Do you have slow days? Mm -hmm. You know, do you have days that are packed? Mm -hmm. How does it work? Yes, for, for that slow day, you'd, you'd get to your hospital or your place of work. You attend to 
to maybe cleanliness first because mm -hmm. your environment has to be safe for both you and your patients and you tend to your patients needs mm -hmm. then you leave your patients satisfied mm -hmm. but for a nurse sometimes it becomes very very um, very busy mm -hmm. and you have to be prepared because there are emergencies that occur mm -hmm. and if you're not prepared you you'd lose your patient and see nursing is about saving lives mm -hmm. and for that little minute or that uh, the, the the minutes you waste you you could lose a life mm -hmm. and so you have to be fast and to attend to what needs to be attended fast your mm -hmm. priorities have to, to be right okay yeah let's talk about difficult patients mm -hmm. you know things are really easy sometimes when you have patients that are working with you they're following yes. the instructions they're mm -hmm. saying everything that uh, they're, they're taking everything that you have to say because you you're basically there for them to get better mm -hmm. but let's talk about difficult patients and you're saying you shouldn't do this and they do the opposite how do you deal with that and i think uh, i give you an example mm -hmm. of this kenyan nurse in the u.s who abused an elderly person mm -hmm. in a nursing home because uh, according to her she was, he was just not taking instructions mm -hmm. yeah well for a nurse you need to be calm first because if uh, you raise your temper mm -hmm. high mm -hmm. and your your patient is difficult then mm -hmm. you'd not be solving anything right. so you have to listen to what your patient mm -hmm. your patient's needs mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. and understand them and know if it is at your level to 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 get to solve them mm -hmm. or it's past your level then you need to first understand what is this problem because mm -hmm. If you don't understand what the patient needs, then conflicts will arise. Mm -hmm. And there are those difficult patients who have other issues that they're beyond you. Mm -hmm. For example, they have financial issues and they will always blame it to the nurses because most of the time you spend that time with the patient. Right. So they find that scapegoat. Okay. Yeah, they want to impose this on you. But in reality, it is among, it is way, way beyond your 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 profession and what you what i would advise somebody to do is to just remain calm if it is beyond you then just leave the patient calmly then go find somebody who is able to attend to that need mm -hmm. at that point mm -hmm. talk to them mm -hmm. let them know what the patient needs and then when they go there they'll know how to handle it okay yeah uh, let's talk about um, ethics versus mercy mm -hmm. And uh, like, uh, I think uh, I gave an example mm -hmm. of a patient who's just been operated on. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I said, uh, I, I, have, I, have, I have such a, such a person, mm -hmm. there's a relative of mine who's sick and he's just from the operating room. Mm -hmm. He wants to eat, he's seeing a banana, he wants to grab. Yeah. But it is during that period of time mm -hmm. where he's been told by the doctor, strictly no eating because yeah. you're in fluids. Mm -hmm. So here comes you, Naomi, the yes, nurse. Yes. Do you give him the banana if he begs for it? Do you feel sorry for him mm -hmm. because you're a nurse, you're supposed to be good and all? Mm -hmm. Or do you stick to your guns and say no? Yeah, as a, yeah you'd, you'd feel it because I know when you're hungry, you'd want food. <laughs> and here is someone who tells you, you cannot take this food because of ABCD. Mm -hmm. But again, you have to explain to them that this is, is is what is going to happen to you mm -hmm. you're not going to eat at this point mm -hmm. but there's a s there's a duration of time that requires for you to get out because in theater mm -hmm. there are some drugs that are used and when you take food immediately mm -hmm. it would uh, harm you in terms of maybe aspiration of your food or you get difficulties in breathing also mm -hmm. but because of these complications try to explain to them slowly let them understand that this is why i'm not going to take food at this time mm -hmm. but at some point i will take back uh, my food i will go back to my normal life mm -hmm. so just let them know that this is part of this um this uh, healing process mm -hmm. yes all right i want yeah. to talk about uh, your relationship with the patient as well mm -hmm. you know how far does it go yes. how how friendly can you get because sometimes there's um there's this demarcations and this boundaries mm -hmm. written or not written that you have to adhere to can you get too friendly with a patient because you want to help them or do you get cold because mm -hmm. sometimes people have complained that they go to hospitals and the nurses are very cold mm -hmm. yes they're doing what they're expected to do but they're just unfriendly to the patients yeah. is it uh, this is this standard or mm -hmm. do you think it's just different personalities of people in the workplace mm -hmm. um you 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 create this or not not really creating but you have this relationship with your patient that grows in day out mm -hmm. because you meet this you you come in at, at your place of work 
you admitted this patient, you have been with this, this patient because you have been administering drugs maybe, mm -hmm. you have been talking to them because again, nothing revolves around health education. Mm -hmm. You teach this patient on how to manage their, their health issues. Mm -hmm. And so you create, as, as you relate, you create this uh, relationship and it grows mm -hmm. and grows. And you see, sometimes when they struggle mm -hmm. with their pain, you feel it when mm -hmm. they, they uh, want some, some things, you see, they are family and you'd want to help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you, you become friendly with your patients right. for them to also open up to you mm -hmm. and tell, their, tell you their problems. Because mm -hmm. you see, nothing has a, is, a, is a pattern of uh, uh, functions. Right. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's not only uh, giving those drugs, mm -hmm. it's about talking to them. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, um, educating them. All right. Yeah, so you create this relationship that really grows, grows and grows. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about abuse, mm -hmm. uh, verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, they say patients can be abusive yes. to the nurses. Yeah. I don't know if you've gone through that, but yes. there are instances where a patient will just abuse you. Either yeah. they're just not right in the head at that particular time mm -hmm. or they're just feeling frustrated. How do you handle that when, uh, when you wake up, you come to, for your shift and you have a very abusive patient? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We get them. We get some of the patients who are very abusive mm -hmm. and you really feel disrespected. And um, because at the end of the day, you need to have your goals. You need to, you need to meet the patient's needs. Mm -hmm. And so if this becomes the, the part of what makes you not fulfill your, your duties, mm -hmm. then you'll be missing out. Mm -hmm. So again, I said, it is part of anger management. Mm -hmm. Nothing is, as a, as a profession, you go through a lot of training, mm -hmm. a lot of customer care, a lot of anger management. And so, because this is your patient, and there's that nurse patient relationship, mm -hmm. you have to keep it professional. Mm -hmm. You have your ethical issues that you have to keep mm -hmm. because you have to be disciplined. So, you would not abuse the patient there, mm -hmm. but you become and try to listen. Okay. What is their problem? Because sometimes, it's not about the illness, mm -hmm. but they have the issues behind behind the, their problems, mm -hmm. financial issues, okay. social issues. So again, you have to understand mm -hmm. what the problem is. Okay. Yes. And then there's always the notion that you are uh, the assistants of doctors. Mm -hmm. Always the, the notion that uh, you're not as professional, mm -hmm. you're not as capable of, you're not as good as mm -hmm. the average doctor. Mm -hmm. How do you do you see this often in your profession, even when you're dealing with patients or the relatives of patients who yes. bring the patients, the way they speak to you yes. and the way they carry themselves around you, mm -hmm. like you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. Like we when you Tom Kono. Yeah, yeah, we get we get that mm -hmm. we get that because people are like uh, doctors have said so you're just a nurse. You can tell me, and um, I want to tell people that nursing is a profession in mm. itself. It's autonomous, so a nurse can make their own decisions mm -hmm. on how to take pre uh, take care of the patient. Mm -hmm. And so, there's, there are those nursing procedures mm -hmm. that do not info, uh, involve doctors. Mm -hmm. So, I, w I would say that nurse, na a nurse is not an, a doctor's assistant. Right. A nurse is just a nurse. Mm -hmm. Yes. And maybe to make it very clear to the viewer, mm -hmm. maybe you should say some of the things that uh, these are basically done by a nurse. Mm -hmm. Like the things that you do, other than just administering drugs, yes. certain things that we probably do not know that mm -hmm. you'd want the viewer to know that you also do in part of the nursing profession. Yes. We, uh, um, some of the things we do, we do counseling. We counsel patients on different health issues. Uh, it's not about administering drugs only, but again, you also have to explain to the patient that this, uh, this drug I'm giving you, mm -hmm. it's for this purpose. Mm -hmm. Because some would ask you, why are you giving me this drug? Mm -hmm. So you'd want to, you'd, you need to be knowledgeable mm -hmm. to know what you're doing, why you're giving that drug. Mm -hmm. And besides that, I have to, to document what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I have to, to, to document that this is what I've done to the patient. Mm -hmm. So for legal issues again, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, our world is evolving. There's uh, the internet, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and you see things, we, we have started going digital. Mm -hmm. And we, we uh, part of that is ordering of drugs mm -hmm. online, uh, mm -hmm. on, on, online, yeah. So you have to, to sit down and plan yourself because 
some would find you seated and they think you're doing nothing. But again, you have to write, you have to document what you've done to the patient. And do reports. And do reports, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that is it. Okay. Yeah, we do a lot. I want to thank you so much. We're thank going you. to take a short break. Mm -hmm. We will be right back. Okay. When we come back, we're going to be talking about some of the challenges in the profession itself. Mm -hmm. And I think what you're saying is really insightful and really eye-opening for a lot of people who just think nursing is just, uh, you know, yes. just another job yes. that anyone can do. Mm -hmm. When we come back, challenges in the nursing profession. We are privileged to have the company of uh, Naomi Mutike right here with us on the program Not Just a Woman. My name is Rose Okinda. We'll be right back. <laughs> 